catfishing. I'm not talking about going out in a boat and reeling in that fish with a little whiskers. I'm talking about the online predator. So we're going to be here to figure out who you're really talking to. The last three weeks, I've researched catfishing, the um, types that there are, tips to avoid it, and um, some real world examples, and I'd like to share them with you. I've conducted sur a survey, and I've written a research paper. So to start, I'm going to tell you how the catfish got its name. So when we think of catfish, this is what we imagine. <laughs> the picture's kind of dark, but um, it all started back in the 1800s before the internet was even a thing. Christian writers would tell of the tale of fishermen going out and catching cod in, at the sea, and then by the time that they got back to land, the cod skin was all mushy and just, it was not good to eat anymore. So a fisherman thought of an idea to put catfish in the tank with the cod and the catfish would like nibble at the cod and stuff like that so it would keep the cod on its toes basically. So these Christian writers refer to people as catfish as the people, the interesting people to keep people on their toes. So how did those kind of catfish become these kind of catfish? Well in 2010 a movie came out called Catfish that followed Nev Shulman, um, and all of you know the TV show that came after that, but basically in the movie, Nev was interacting with this 24-year-old on 24-year-old woman online, but she would always avoid meeting him and um, didn't really act like she wanted to do anything like in person. So Nev's brother eventually found out that she wasn't who she was saying she was and got a meet or kind of ambushed her basically. Um, and they found out that she was a 40 year old married woman with kids. So at the end of the movie, this woman's husband ref referred back to the Christian writer's tale of the catfish and that is how the whole series got its name. Now what are the types of catfish? According to digital trends, there are five types. This is the lonely catfish. Now the lonely catfish is just looking for someone to talk to. Usually the, they have a very sad story, like they are going through this really rough time and they just need somebody. And um, that's probably the saddest type of catfish. And then there's the scary catfish. The scary catfish is, as digitaltrends.com referred to, out to break hearts. They don't care who they're going to hurt or what they're going to do, but they're just out to ruin lives, basically. Um, and they're willing to talk for months just to crush the person they're talking to. The next catfish is the secretly in love with you catfish. Now this catfish knows their victim and is almost like a stalker, but doesn't have the confidence in themselves to show who they really are. So they try to get close to this person by putting on a fake persona. We have the revenge catfish. Catfish. This is usually an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend who feels wronged by the person, but it doesn't have to be an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, I guess. They just have to feel wronged um, uh, by the victim. And they will do just about anything to hurt the victim. And then this is the bored catfish. So they go online because they have nothing else to do. Um, they're less likely to create long-term relationships online because they'll talk to a person for a while and then chances are they'll get bored of them too and they'll move on to a different person. So next I'll talk about red flags to look for online. These are tips given by Dr. Phil. The first one if is if it's too good to be true, it probably is. So if the catfish is saying that they are this person, an aspiring model, and this person, a neurosurgeon, it's probably not true. Next red flag, if they make up crazy excuses not to meet, and they do it multiple times, like they say, they got in a car accident, they had a family funeral, or they're in the hospital, that's probably a big red flag as to they're not the actual person, or if they make those excuses to not video chat or anything like that. And lastly, if they have less than 100 followers and none of, no other accounts are attached to their account, like they don't tag any of their friends or anything or anything like that, that is probably a good red flag. Um, 
Dr. Phil also gives a, a tip that if you don't know the person, then you should probably friend them at all. But these are the big ones if, if you really need to talk. So real life examples. Everyone knows about um, Monte Teo. He was the uh, football player that got involved with someone online and then only to find out that she died but of leukemia. And, but his cousin later found out that she wasn't dead or even the person that she thought or he thought she was. And then this other example is of Ruth Palmer. This is Ruth and that is her um, husband. But online, someone stole her identity and claimed that they were Leah Palmer. And this um, online predator went as far as to create fake accounts for Ruth's family members so that they would interact online. So, in conclusion, who are you really talking to? A catfish is an online predator that creates, false, creates fake accounts to lure people in. There are five kind of catfish, the lonely, the in love, the scary, the revenge, and the bored. To avoid being catfished, watch for these things being, watch for these things. Being too good to be true, a person having no other accounts or people linked to their accounts and less than 100 followers, an extreme, multiple excuses to not meet. Remember the cases of Ruth Palmer and Monte Teo. And lastly, being technology, technologically literate will help you transverse the waters of the interwebs.